Yeah, I definitely think um, you know, <clears throat> I brought I brought Jack's A game out. I don't know how, how his um other fights were, but Jack definitely brought his A game. I did what I had to do, like I said, I worked the body, came on top, I, you know, I sat on the inside and um in the new. You know, what the do? What I had to do. Uh -huh. um, also, ähm, ich glaube, what he was trying to do, he would do D up and kind of bull rush in to get his punches off. I was telling Demetrius, I said, okay, every time his hands goes up, he bull rushes, step out. But, you know, like my son said, he was a little flat to travel. His legs were just a little bit flat and he couldn't move as fast as he normally moves. So, and I'm like, okay, he's coming. The hands went up. As soon as the hand come up, boom, he made his move. But Booba was ready for the move, the mind was ready, but the feet wasn't ready. So the mind said, go, 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 the feet said, no, no, no. So they're both going to work together. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he managed to see a lot of things, and he decided to stay in the inside with Jack. And then I decided to turn him right-handed, orthodox, because he fights both ways. The jab worked, the overhand right worked. And we got a few more points there, and I don't know if that, you know, I didn't think they were prepared for him to turn right-handed. But, and I figured we'll steal them out that way because they wouldn't be prepared for that. Then he went back to Southpaw, dug into the body, got his jab going again, and it went back and forth. Demetrius would get going a little bit, Jack came right back. Jack didn't stop coming, I give him all the credit in the world. He just kept coming, coming, coming like a real warrior. And it was an honor to be in the ring, being in Germany with you know great warriors like that. Thank you. Also, um, natürlich, man versucht als Vater immer. Salomons know what they had. Uh, Wilford knows what he's got. We came here, we were treated very hospitable. He was a great fight, and he was a very good fighter. And somewhere down the road, maybe we'll do it again. At the end of the day, he fought like a champion. And, you know, and he, he pushed Demetrius. Demetrius had to do what he had to do, but the fans got something which is great, which is a good fight. That's what it's all about for television and for our sport. And the WBA. With Gilberto here and all the guys from the WBA, it's a great job. It was a good job. There's nobody knows that he lost the fight, but there's no losers. Right, his career, his stock went up. His stock went up in Las Vegas. He was a 20 to 1 underdog. You know, he was 10 to 1, 10 to 1 to get knocked out. His stock went up. He's going to get big fights because he fought one of the best in the world at 54. Demetrius never lost his title in the ring. There were some things going on, and his title was taken away from him. So it was two world champions who fought tonight. That's what happened tonight. It's like a unification. WBA first, though, naturally. <laughs> but at the end of the day, it was a great fight. Jack Colke did himself well, and he did his company, his promotional company well. And we're appreciated. Thank you very much. It's not only the United States. And I take my hats off for you risking and coming here to fight. Whatever, when everybody sometimes have a certain um, think, thoughts about it. But here in the WBA, we are boxing and we try to bring the best. And that's one of the things that we do. In this side, I think I also have a winner. A boy from Ecuador that came very young to Germany. He learned the language. He overcame many obstacles. Even when he was in the amateurs, nobody was given many chances to yak. And still, he succeeded. He lost to you. He couldn't make it that time, but he came back and won in the 2009. And he was a he was a, a world Aiba world champion. Both of you share that. Both of you were world champions in Aiba, and both of you were champions in professional. So for me, you fighting him and taking the best out of him, and he taking the best out of you, without discussing whatever whatever opinion people have in the fight. That's what's boxing all about. We are here sitting down. We are here talking together, we're talking together, showing that you both are one of the best 154 in the world. Yes. For that and for honoring the first anniversary of my dad, one of the reasons I'm here is because I wanted to be here present to see the show. I wanted fair fairness, honesty, and the best thing possible. <laughs> and we couldn't do that if Mr. Wilfred Sauerland, Chris Meyer from Sauerland Events, understood all the situation that happened here. Obviously, on the other side, had to put a lot of effort. It was a very difficult fight to put, but we're showing that also, outside of America, we can have a lot of good fights. In this term, you know, I would like to thank everybody. I'd like to thank Germany, especially Sauerland, for bringing these types of events and supporting our ideas. And 
yeah, there's a whole feature for you as well as there's a whole feature for you. The different size right now, and I know you are like a lion. You have a heart inside that you will try to overcome whatever it is. And you, <laughs> we're getting ready to show where it is.